or in operation that had not been declared to the agency. Iran also stated that any such future facilities uh, will be reported to the agency according to Iran's obligations to the agency. In a letter dated 6 November 2009, the agency asked Iran to confirm that it had not taken a decision to construct or to authorize construction of any other nuclear facility which had not been declared to the agency. This is just as of November of uh, 2009, and I think the Iranian officials were lying to their teeth as they were making those statements uh, to the IAEA as they have done uh, over the past few years. Well, the, uh, Mr. Asami mentioned the source of the information. Um, as it has been the case, uh, uh, at least since 2002, that all of the major nuclear sites of Iran that the IAEA is now inspecting have uh, been pretty much exposed by the same source, the, uh, the PMI network inside uh, Iran, among others. Now, the, uh, the Benchet Abad Abiyak underground enrichment site, uh, as you can see, the location of the uh, site on the map uh, near Tehran, between on the way to Tehran to Ghazvin. And uh, this is a, a close up map of that. Um, on the right side, you have Tehran, and then you have the direction to uh, Abiyak. And um, then from there, they turn to get to that location. Now, this is a satellite imagery um, that uh, dates back to, uh, to late 2004. And uh, you can see here the different locations um, on the site. Um, this is the um, Ehjadabad village, um, and Abiyak is right here. And Ehjadabad village is here. And as you can see, uh, this location here shows no activity whatsoever. And uh, there are several villages, uh, Tudaran village here, Ziaran, uh, Javad Nia Garrison, and I will elaborate on Javad Nia Garrison, uh, Jasmine village, uh, Tazabad village, and the Al Mahdi uh, Garrison. Now, the uh, code name is important because, as you recall, the case of Qum, the regime used the code name, uh, the name Fardo, uh, which was actually a village uh, far away from the site that they were actually building to do, deviate attention in case anyone was focusing on it. And the code name they're using is to. Uh, conceal it from anyone, even from the people within the Iranian regime. And um, the name they internally use um, in parallel to that is called Javadiyah II Garrison, as though this is an extension or a supplement to the garrison. There's been a training garrison there for a long, long time, as I'll show you, as I showed you on that, that uh, satellite imagery.